My daughter asked me if I had anything specifically on nail pops, and I did not. I will right now. So I'm going to talk about nail pops. What causes nail pops? There's a couple of things that cause nail pops. One, your drywall and wood are in something that's about this thick. And what happens is the wood shrinks. The screw or the nail, they don't drive themselves back in at all. As the wood shrinks up, the head pops out. That's what happens. Um, now, up here in the northern part of Illinois, we glue all of the drywall on. There's a few contractors now who aren't doing it. I won't go there. You're going to have to use way more screws if you don't glue it. You've got way more, a uh, much better chance of having screw pops and nail pops if you put in two or three times as many screws. Um, and the glue today is guaranteed for like 150 years. Trust me, my warranty will be expired before that drywall comes down. It, it really will be. But do you take them out? Do you take out the nails? Do you take out the screws? Do you pound them in? Um, this is my rule of thumb. If I can walk up to the, dry, the wall, now this wall is bad. This is a really, really bad wall. But understand that the studs underneath this wall are over 132 years old. So, oh, actually, sounds solid. But down here, I know it's not. I, I see the screws. You can see the screws down here. Let me zoom in on them a little bit. But you can see how they popped. But I've gone and I've gone and, and fastened these all back down. So actually, that's pretty good. But it's still got a little bit of a rattle to it. If it rattles, by all means, drive whatever nails or screws that you have in, drive them in deep, and then add some more. Stop that rattling. You do not want it to rattle. If it's solid and the screw is sticking out pretty far, but there's no movement in the drywall and it doesn't rattle, by all means, back the screw out. And I've heard people say, oh, I don't get nail pops because I don't use nails, I use screws. Screws pop just as bad as nails do. The problem is, is they're much smaller, they're tiny things, and you just don't see them. Nail pops are big because you have to dimple the nail in with the end of the hammer. So the hammer head is made to dimple the nail in. So, I mean, for years, this is what we used. Matter of fact, I knew a guy one time, he could stand back 20 feet away from an inch and a half stud and stick, you, you point the stud out, and he could stick his hatchet in the stud that you pointed out. You don't mess with him. Um, that was in Florida. He was, it was an old hanger. I, my gosh, I, I don't know how old he was. He had to have been probably about my age right now. I just happened to be 19, 20 years old at the time, but he was probably about my age. So he was a really old man. But that guy could stick his hatchet. But the hatchets are made. The drywall hammers were made to dimple the nail in. They've even got this cross pieces on there to grip the head of the nail so you can drive it in. Screws, on the other hand, uh, you, everybody today knows what a screw gun is and, and how the clutch works and everything else and, and sets the screw. Uh, but check it. See if it's loose. If it's loose, you have to put more screws in. You're going to have to. You don't want it to stay loose. Uh, if it's not loose and the screw head is sticking way out, I remove it. I'll just take that one out. Um, but And then check to see if they're nails. If they're nails and they're popping and you push and you see it moving in and out, get a couple of screws. Get a couple of screws on both sides of that nail. And then just take a, a punch or something. Drive the nail home doesn't need to be there anymore. The screws are now holding the drywall in place. It stopped moving. Drive the nail home. I mean, just little common sense. And understand this too. If a, if a nail pops and it's this big around, all of the paper is broken around that nail. You've got to take a razor knife and cut the loose paper up and remove that paper before you try to spackle it. Otherwise, you're never going to get rid of it. Sometimes you come, off to a, come up to a screw head and you can just see the head. Just see the head of the screw. You can take a little scraping knife or a little putty knife and you can scrape the paint right off the top of the screw head. It's nice and flat with the wall. You can spackle it or not spackle it. It's up to you. Paint it. It's done. So 
sometimes these heads are so fine they're just underneath the surface but the wall's done wood's done shrinking so you're just going to have a little tiny screw head scrape it off as long as the screw itself isn't exposed you can just spackle it up and be done so i hope that answers any of your questions if you have any more questions by all means leave a comment I answer comments, guys. I do. I really do answer comments. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed yet, over 80% of the people looking at my videos has not subscribed. Please, subscribe. Uh, I'd love to get up to 30,000 subscribers next year. I've got a big thing planning when I have 30,000 subscribers. It's incredible, guys. It really is. I, I'm really, really excited about it. But I don't want to do it until I have 30,000 subscribers. So, you guys, have a great day. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.